Hello, my dear friends, and uh, welcome and welcome back to Book Time with Elvis with me, Mark. I uh, haven't seen you for a while, um, and I just thought I'd make a quick video uh, to just kind of clarify where things are and what's going to be happening, I suppose, going forward uh, on this channel. Um, now, I've been off, uh, I think, probably a couple of weeks now, really, uh, though it might only be a week or so. Uh, time is odd, an odd thing. Um, but I, I, I was off with COVID last week, uh, I guess one of the hazards of working in the school. And to be honest, I'm surprised that it was the first time that I got it. So despite having four inoculations <laughs> against it, but um, I'm fine, thankfully. Um, Elvis is fine too. You can probably hear him trotting around, see his tail there in the background. Um, and to be honest, I was only really like, very bad like fever wise and all that for like three days or so um and then i've just been struggling a bit with my voice but luckily um you know i haven't really had a cough which i suppose is a big benefit um but you know i, I plan to get back to normal as soon as possible you may have noticed of course i had to drop back mainly because of voice issues uh with the um dracula uh read aloud i'm doing with steve donahue and michael cummings I'm going to try and get back before they finish that up, but they're moving at such a pace I might not be able to. Um, but they've done a wonderful job and, uh, you know, probably I haven't been missed. <laughs> um, and there are a few other things coming up uh, next month. There will be uh, New World's November, which I am co-hosting, even though I am an absolute novice when it comes to science fiction. But I think that's going to be part of the fun, and I will endeavour to release an announcement video for that, uh, hopefully um, sometime either at the end of this week or over the weekend. Um, I will be a bit busy during the course of the next week because I have a family visit. My parents are coming to visit Elvis and I um, today, actually. Uh, they'll be arriving uh, sometime uh, later this afternoon, which will be good. I'm looking forward to seeing them. It's been a year. And they're only here uh, in town for around six days, so it's not too uh, not too long. And obviously, I don't want to uh, use up my time with them making videos, but um, I will probably have a chance to do some things in the evenings uh, because they're not staying with me. They're staying over the road uh, in, a, in a in a more luxurious place than my own uh, rather drafty old apartment. Um, and I've been thinking a lot about uh, the World Cup. Uh, read along. Uh, I don't know if you're if you're new to this channel. What I do when there's like a, a football tournament, a global football tournament, or a regional football tournament is I try to um, arrange, uh, hook people up or match people up with different teams, and they read books from the countries those teams originate from until that team loses, and then they read something from the country that beat them, and so on and so forth until you know when you get to the final, you've got you know just two countries still in the running and you've got half the people reading things from that country, half from the other and then in the end and so on and so forth. And I'm not sure because the World Cup kicks off middle of next month and I'm playing catch up with a lot of things. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm really going to have time to do that. Um, I suppose it really also depends on the interest. We had a lot of interest for the, uh, the Euros and the Africa Cup of Nations. Um, if you really are interested and would like it to still be done, uh, then put the, put a comment below and I will uh, weigh up you know, the interest and uh, if I can possibly do it. There's nothing, of course, uh, stopping you uh, choosing you know, your own country to follow and follow the pattern as well. I mean, I would really like to do it. It's just, as I say, um, you know, it, it, it's quite time consuming. Uh, to host something like that on my own as well. So, um, yeah, so there we go. I'm not really sure, but uh, I hope to get back to making more regular videos, uh, certainly by the beginning uh, of November, if not the end of uh, October, once, um, you know, I'm fully recovered. Uh, you know, I'm back at work and everything, um, but, you know, I have to say, I mean, I, I noticed from Sean D. Stanfast's uh, video when he talks about long COVID and stuff like this, um, I can I can really sympathize because although I feel uh, much better in terms of like being able to get up and go to work and, and this kind of thing, um, I 
feel at the end of each day that I've worked an entire week. So I'm pretty exhausted already and it's only Thursday, um, you know, because it feels like I've worked for three weeks so far, if that makes sense. Uh, it does seem to take a lot out of you. But um, as I say, it could be worse. Uh, I'm hoping some of the uh, physical improvements I've made to myself and, and, and my health have gone some way into kind of mitigating the effects that I might otherwise have felt from this this disease, really. So, uh, yeah, but... Um, and I'm, I'm really hoping that I don't uh, develop too much... Um, you know, cloudy cloudiness and stuff on the brain. Though I have found it hard to concentrate on um, on a lot of reading, um, and I'm very picky about what I'm reading now because I have to read something that's like that I can deal with. Uh, I know that sounds really maybe a bit strange, and I feel very bad for poor old uh, Sonia, one of my dear subscribers, who uh, and and friends, of course, because of uh, the fact we've done some buddy reads together as well. Um, you were supposed to be reading 100 Years of Solitude together. She's steamed ahead, of course, and I'm finding it tough going, even though it is a reread for me. Um, and that might be part of the reason as well, because I find I'm remembering it quite clearly as I have gone on with it, um, that I'm also just kind of not being able really to concentrate fully on it. So I've read a few things, but they tend to be shorter works or uh, easier uh, to digest pieces so yeah there we go so I must apologize of course to you Sonia for that uh, but I know you've been very understanding about it and I did have to uh, put off uh, for now uh, postpones the word I'm looking for uh, a buddy read with Jack from Rambling Raconteur about the life of Alexander the Great uh, which hopefully will pick up maybe in November uh, I will speak to him about that more uh, as I feel clear in what I'm doing and so yeah, it's been a bit of a rambling video, apologies for that, but I'm sure you missed me so much that you just wanted to see my face and hear my voice and, uh, you know, know that uh, I haven't disappeared completely. And again, I'm sorry for the poor lighting because I'm recording this at six o'clock in the morning uh, before I head out to work. Um, and yeah, it's still dark here, so uh, it's not the best light, but I don't know when else today. I will have a chance to record so there we go thank you so much for you know staying with me and um i did i find it funny that my subscribers have gone up a little as i've not been making videos and no doubt once this goes out it will drop again <laughs> but um <clears throat> see well no luckily it wasn't a proper cough but that's all right uh but no really thank you everybody for your kind words and support and uh you know i'm i'm very much looking forward to getting back into things and, um, you know, continuing on this uh, wonderful uh, journey uh, of BookTube together with you. So do take care, everybody from Elvis and I. Best wishes and see you again soon. Bye-bye.